KF-41 Lynx is a modular infantry fighting vehicle from Germany's Rheinmetall. It has been first showcased in 2018 and currently being procured by Hungary. And it is in big consideration to be adopted in Australia, Czech Republic and even USA, where it is currently in competition for a vehicle that will replace the M2 Bradley. Remember how I said it is modular? Yeah, every one of those countries that I mentioned will have different weapons and systems integrated into the vehicle to suit their needs. And to be honest, that is the best thing about this vehicle. And not only that, Rheinmetall also offers the vehicle in different configurations, so it can not only be an infantry fighting vehicle, but also an APC, a recovery vehicle, mobile ambulance, and so on. Shoot, our radio is out. Can you share hotspots so I can send a message that we will be flanking? Sure. been hit! How did they know we were coming? Uh, did you use NordVPN? Huh? What? NordVPN, it routes all your traffic through a remote server, thus hiding your IP address and encrypting all your data. It is extremely easy to use. It's just one click, or you can even enable auto-connect for zero-click protection. There are over 5,200 servers in 16 countries that you can choose from. Pick one close to you for better speed, or a faraway one for more content, it's up to you. Did they mention it is fast? Really fast. In fact, it has been confirmed over and over again that the NordVPN is the fastest VPN out there. If that wasn't enough, wait till you hear this. You can use it on six separate devices simultaneously. Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, Linux, it doesn't matter, even your Android TV can use NordVPN. What are you waiting for? Follow the link in the description and use the coupon code REDEFFECT to get a two-year plan plus four additional months with a huge discount. Oh god, that is great! I need to tell my wife! Ah uh ah, -uh, remember, use NordVPN! Oh yeah, of course. Thank you NordVPN for sponsoring this video. The base armor appears to be relatively unchanged on all of them. But sadly, there is no official information on the armor's performance. Usual statements are about common AT threats and artillery shots and artillery fragments protection. But that is not telling us much. It is equipped with the Common Advanced Modular Armor Protection or AMAP armor package, so it would suggest that it is at least protected against PG-7 VL rocket fired from RPG-7, which penetrates around 500mm. But that is for heat protection only. For kinetic energy protection we don't know much, but we can assume it is protected from common autocannon fire. All in all, for an infantry fighting vehicle that is a pretty good protection. It is powered by a 1140 horsepower diesel engine with a maximum torque of 5411 newton meters, which is more torque than most main battle tanks get with their engines. But to be honest, the weight of Lynx can match the weight of main battle tanks. Depending on the variant, it can easily reach or exceed 50 tons. But the engine is still extremely good, and that ensures that Lynx will have excellent mobility. There are two battle management systems one can choose for KF-41. Weapon integrated battle management system from Elbit Systems and TechNet from Rheinmetalls themselves. But both will get the job done quite well. Now let's take a look at specific variants. First, Hungary, since they are the first ones that bought KF-41 and are, for now, the only operator. Hungarian KF-41 is armed with a 30mm MK-30-2 autocannon the one we've seen on Puma, and can use a variety of different types of ammunition, including APFSDS, airburst, enhanced lateral effect ammo, frangible subcaliber projectile, etc. The main armament offers KF-41 good firepower, but KF-41 can have integrated ATGM launcher for either tow or spike missiles. It is not a disclosed which missile system will be integrated in the Hungarian version, but is speculated to be spike which is a better choice in my opinion for its top attack abilities, but that is if they get any missile system at all. The fire control system features 3rd generation Sapphire 2.0 thermals for both gunner and commander. The key feature of Hungarian Lynx is the integration of the new Strike Shield hard kill active protection system. What is unique about this system is that it comes integrated into the passive armor component which is mounted on the vehicle. 
Thus, it is called a hybrid protection system since it incorporates both passive and active systems in one. Great thing about it is that it can intercept threats fired from just 10 meters away from the vehicle, making it useful even in urban environments. Combination of the base armor together with strike shield will definitely make the vehicle immune to most common AT rockets and missiles, which is extremely good since those types of weapons are the most common threats for armored vehicles. In United States, Rheinmetall Slings is one of the competitors for the replacement of the aging Bradley infantry fighting vehicles. But there are five different companies in this competition, Point Blank, Oshkosh Defense, BAE, General Dynamics and of course Rheinmetall. So it is not going to be easy. Lynx was removed from the competition in the past, but that was two years ago when the requirements were different, but since then they have changed and that allowed Lynx to join back in. But we probably will not know the final winner until 2027. The process will go something like this. Currently, the five competitors are making their final concept designs. They have time until 2023. And in the second quarter of 2023, up to three competitors may get further contracts, which will require them to make prototypes for testing purposes, which should start in 2026. And then the final winner would be chosen in 2027. And then the fall rate production should be established by 2030. It should be noted that Rheinmetall is partnered with Raytheon for electronics and Textron for the actual production of the vehicle in the United States. But for now, nothing is certain, we can only speculate on the winner. But not even the final concepts have been presented, so it will be a while until we know. Until then, Bradley will remain as the main infantry fighting vehicle of US. In Australia, Lynx is also competing as the main replacement for the Army's old M113 vehicles. It is competing against South Korean AS-21 Redback, which is a further improvement of their K-21 infantry fighting vehicle. In my opinion, the KA-41 competing in the Australian Land 400 program is the best looking one so far. It is armed with MK-30-2 autocannon and has third generation thermals for both gunner and commander. And it seems that both Redback and Lynx will be modified to fire Spike LR missiles, which, as I mentioned before, are a really good choice. Now, the main difference between this Lynx and the Hungarian one is the hard kill active protection system. Both vehicles competing in Australia have Iron Fist active protection system and laser warning receivers. Iron Fist is certainly not as good as Strike Shield, since the integration of both Lynx and Redback has only two launchers with two countermeasures one on each side of the turret, which means they can only stop two rockets or missiles at each side of the vehicle. But that is certainly better than nothing, and it's probably done to save money so more systems can be procured, which is certainly a good idea if you want to have as many of them as possible on a lower budget, and I can certainly commend that. The competition seems to be a very close call, both vehicles are pretty comparable in their characteristics, and at the end, only some small certain aspects will probably determine the winner, which will be announced next year. And if this video does good, I will do a video on Lynx's competitor, the AS-21 Redback. And Lynx will probably take part in Czech Infantry Fighting Vehicle competition. Czech Republic is planning to replace their BVP-2 Infantry Fighting Vehicles, their version of BMP-2. And there are three potential competitors, BAE with Swedish CV-90, General Dynamics with Ascod and Trinmetal with Lynx. But the preliminary elections will be held on the 8th to 9th October, so then we will find out if Lynx has even made it into the competition or not. I think it is safe to say that Lynx is among the best infantry fighting vehicles in the world. Coupled with hard kill active protection systems and ATGMs like Spike LR, it overshadows most infantry fighting vehicles out there. In the past, I've called Russian T-15 the best infantry fighting vehicle out there, but T-15 has one massive flaw, its production rate, which is almost non-existent, at least for now. But with so many different countries opting to buy KF-41 and producing them, even countries that aren't really big like Czech Republic or Hungary, which ordered 218 of them with 172 to be made domestically, can only tell us that Lynx is everything but hard to produce. So take away from that what you like, but one thing is certain, it is good. There is a reason why so many countries are considering it, and who knows, we might even see more of them being interested in buying it, 
especially if it wins on any of those competitions. That would be all, big thanks to my friend Moritz for helping me out with this video, I really appreciate it. If you want, you can support me on Patreon, but if you can't, sub to the channel if you're new or just leave a like on the video, everything helps. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video, have a nice day.